What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Chris Lee TV. Hope you guys have been staying 10 toes down since the last video. Um, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back with this video. It's been a minute since I made a video. And um, I wanted to just uh, talk about some things that I think will be kind of beneficial to my channel, to my subscribers, to people who are aspiring to, you know, make some money. Um, as you can see by the title, this is how I um or how to um you know make money off youtube how i make money off youtube just me explaining some of the things that you know what i'm saying i kind of went through from the beginning um so you know i made quite a bit of money off youtube so i think i have like a little bit to say about it just uh you know i haven't made a million dollars yet but i've I've made quite a bit of money so with that being said um one of the things when i started youtube um, I knew like I wanted to get monetized. I think you have to get like a thousand subscribers and like 4,000 watch hours within a certain period of time. That was one of my biggest goals when I started YouTube. Um, and I, I just started YouTube to really put out information to be kind of helpful and um, you know to have something to where like if I'm not at home, uh, my family can watch me uh, on these videos in like perpetually they can turn on the video and always hear my voice or see my face and I thought that was really cool especially with my son um, wanting to be a youtuber and watching a lot of YouTube um, so that was like that was where some of the reasons I started doing YouTube and I always wanted to do YouTube I was just I just couldn't figure out like the best way to do it and um, once I figured out you can get paid doing it that's kind of that also like really pushed me to do it um, so one of the first things I did like was figure out how to get paid off of YouTube and <clears throat> it wasn't AdSense like the first thing I, I don't think I got paid uh, off AdSense like the money the first money that came from YouTube was not off AdSense I think it was from like uh, a brand deal or something like that um, if I recall and the way that I got my brand deals was I was just putting out a lot of content and I would make sure that my email was like somewhere where a brand could find it, right? So if it was like in my description or in the channel description, when you go to my channel, you scroll all the way to the right, or if you scroll left, but you're actually going to the far right, which is, you know, it makes sense. But um, you'll see like a description of my channel. I think my email is in there. I also have my website. Like you have to have uh, somewhere for like these brands to contact you. I, just, I have never reached out to a brand to do any type of like work with the brand. I've never done that. Um, all the brands that I work with, they've all reached out to me. And um, you know, I, if I like what I hear or read what I read what they do and I like what they do, then I'll sign up. Uh, like Trucker Path was one of the brands that reached out um what's the other company that reached out company rts rts reached out um you know and uh some other brands i think reached out some worked some didn't and you know so that's the name of the game but you want to just make sure like when you're getting these brand deals like to uh, like read the contracts uh, understand like how the, the you, how do you get paid um and things like that so with the things that i work with, like the people that i work with i have to like continuously promote the brand it's not like i get paid like ten thousand dollars and i say like i just like name drop them or do an ad for them i haven't reached that yet um i'm looking forward to it but i haven't reached that like uh like threshold yet of being an influencer where people pay me to put like an ad in my video so the way that my brand deals work is like I I promote their brand. I get like an affiliate code, and every time someone subscribes or buys or purchases the service, then I get a percentage of that. Okay, so like I said, I do get percentages. I'm gonna insert this real quick, um, and that also is how I made like upwards of five five figures plus, all like from YouTube. Um, another thing that I did was. I promoted 
the trucking company that I worked for and they gave me $3,000 per driver. And I got uh, lots of drivers to sign up and go to the company that I worked for. I wrote a blog on my website on how to do that at www.chrisleetv.com on um, how, to, how, how I made $10,000 um, as a recruiter. Um, that was a really, a really, really, really good opportunity. If you're a trucker and you're trying to do YouTube, I recommend that you make videos around the company that you work for, if the company allows it, because people are gonna watch that video. Even if you don't put the company name in your video, say, hey, I do this type of trucking, people are gonna ask you like, hey, where do you work? Like if it's, if it's sometimes people, you know what I'm saying, do weird stuff with the information like that, but uh, with me and where, where I worked at, as you can guys, you guys know, you can go back and look at my videos and see where I worked at. Um, I promoted that company and people would reach out to me and, and ask me questions. I'll answer the questions and I'll ask them to put my name down as a referral and I would get the referral bonus for everyone who did that. And a lot of people did that. And it made me, help me make a lot of money. Like I said, this is all from YouTube. Um, me still promoting like an affiliate, like it's like I'm a, an affiliate for the, the trucking company. Um, now I do something different since I don't work at that company anymore. I still am a recruiter, but I'm contracted to where I don't have to do any of the back office work. And um, it's just a better opportunity for me at the moment. But don't let that pass up, that opportunity for you if you work at a company. Let, let them know to write your name down as a referral because you can get lots of free money doing that. Like I said, I made helpers of over five figures collectively with all my affiliates, me bring a recruiter, my books, like I make a lot of money off of YouTube. And um, you know, it's a bag out here. So before, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to put that in there. All right, so let's get back to the and, video. Um, I am cool with that, you know what I'm saying? um it, it works out like you have you have to work for it though but it does work out um the money does add up so from like the brand deals and stuff like that and then um what else can i say about brand deals like you know they like i said they come to you um and sometimes they're not the best but you have to filter through them and um you know have something to offer like make sure that you have uh interaction with your subscribers and stuff like that Make sure you have like a like pretty good engagement to where people have like a no like trust factor with you. Um, I don't do anything like super crazy on my channel. I try to keep it like cool, calm and collected. I try to just be myself like and not try to go outside of that because I think people can read you. You know what I'm saying? If you're being fake and if you're being somebody that you're not like in real life, um, sometimes I, pe I feel like people can read through that. And um, like when people meet me, I'm the same person that I am online. I might like, you know, talk a little differently because I want to um, appease to like YouTube and I want to appease to, you know, like I want to give off a certain type of like uh, look. I'm not trying to be perfect, but like online, if you want to attract brands, you have to be, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to kind of, Put, put your foot in that shoe, right? So now I'm not trying to say like I'm acting fake, but um, if I want to be, you know what I'm saying? Like if I want to, I'm trying to say it, I don't know how to say it, but you know, like a professional, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Like if you, if you want like better deals and stuff like that, if you want stuff, um, you know what I'm saying? You can't be out here doing all kinds of crazy stuff online to attract those brands. Um, so like next, like AdSense, once I got the thousand watch hours and the four, the thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, then I, you know I'm saying? I was able, eligible to get money for off of like YouTube, Google AdSense pays me. They send a check, uh, to my media company and like the people who watch my, sh watch my channel, watch the ads, to my channel, I get paid off of that. Um, I'm not like up there with like big YouTubers where I get like uh, $4,000 a month and stuff like that. I'm not as consistent as I need to be. 
which is like one of the key things like if you want to make money you have to be consistent posting like twice a week um is a good start um and just you know what I'm saying staying 10 toes down and not giving up i think that i kind of got lost in um just trying to do too many things at one time um i i like i said i have these brand deals and um like i'm i'll try to do like a lot of stuff but i think that's where i kind of like lost focus like and i kind of stopped making as many uh like videos as i used to make because i was trying to figure out how to do other things while not having the camera on filming that stuff like and making sure that you guys like could see what i was doing um i want to change that i want to get back on youtube i want to make like more videos and stuff like that because i i'm still growing as a channel my channel is still growing um and i really appreciate everybody who likes subscribe comments um dms me um and you know what i'm saying I, i'm here for you guys like for whatever i can do for y'all i'm here for it and um you know i i enjoy being helpful i enjoy uh making videos i enjoy uh being able to like give you guys that information that you're looking for and um and any comments you leave i try to respond to them but with the assets money like i said um like it started coming in and you know like i said it's not like the biggest checks but it's still a check um it's something that youtube pays me you know what i'm saying youtube sends out checks every month and it's really really a great opportunity um so like another way i got paid is like i created my own items right i created my own uh, product right the, the the books right the financial planner and um uh, let's see like the logistics low journal for truckers and financial planner um i created my own product I, that's how I, that's what i got paid i think what i got paid on first was that product because i was waiting for like assets to come and i was waiting for those hours to come and i was like yo like I'll be waiting forever. So let me go ahead and like make a product. And you know what I'm saying? I was just doing research online. I was just like, okay, um, you can get paid like just different ways. So I tried like uh, affiliates and stuff like that. But one of the things I did do was make that product. Um, and I got paid, I still get paid. People buy my book, it's a great book. You should go buy it on Amazon. Uh, you can get it from my website, www.chrisleetv.com. Um, it is available there and um, it's a it's another great source of revenue for my company um, something that like I said I would not have any of this without my YouTube channel I wouldn't have been able to necessarily really think about doing this stuff but and that's just that's crazy like because my mind works like that it's like uh, I want to do all these other things some things stick like that planner some things don't um, my wife's calling me all right I hit the wrong button so like I was saying, like some things stick, some things don't, but everything works out in the end. I'm still trying to, you know what I'm saying? I want to get back to making YouTube videos, bringing you guys content. I really enjoy doing that. I really miss talking to you guys. And, um, you know, I want to get more videos out there and uh, just grow this channel uh, and see what happens. Um, I want 100,000 subscribers, so I have to work hard for that. And I'm willing to do what I have to do to, to get that, to that point. Um, what are the ways if I made money off of YouTube? I think that's it. Um, I have tried to do like some services um, here and there, but I don't think like with my time and like uh, being able to put like 100% of like my, you know what I'm saying, my effort into like a service or doing something for someone, I don't think I'm able to do that. So like I had to cut the services that I was providing out and then I just reached out to different people who provide those services and contract it with them. So it was kind of like working smarter and not harder. And I'm trying to get to more of that, right? Um, but yeah, one of the ways I grew on YouTube as far as video wise um, was making content that was searchable. So how to get a CDL. One of my most popular videos, how to pass a drug test um you know it's like my claim to fame if you want to say that it's one of my like it's the most popular video on my channel i actually hate that video um i i, I mean it's a, it's a really inspiring video like it's a it's like a love hate relationship really inspiring video um 
the feedback was both on both sides like it was really split down the middle like really no in between people either loved it or they hated it and um you know people ask me questions like uh like i have like the like i'm a doctor and i have and i don't have the advice i feel like that i can give people uh to where i'm comfortable when they're asking me questions about that video because i can't tell you if you're going to pass a drug test or not and i don't have you know what i'm saying i don't have i don't have the answers to give you because it really varies on whatever whatnot what you got going on in your background um you know what i'm saying your body weight all things you eat your water like it's a lot of stuff that varies so that's kind of one of the reasons i don't like that video because i can't give you the answer on if someone asked me like hey do you think i'll pass the test if woo woo wah wah bing bing boom boom i'm like yo like i hope you pass it but you know what um that's you know what i'm saying just making videos that people are searching for and then also um that was a kind of a controversial video i feel like it was very controversial and um you know sometimes you can teeter-totter on the edge of that i don't want i didn't want to make like videos about that consistently because then i feel like it would be kind of like goofy you know what i'm saying because then you're always trying to get like an emotion out of people and i don't want to bring like that out of people like i want people to be chill i want people to make money i want people to be like happy like that's the type of vibes on are on my channel i feel like uh, a lot of people who are family oriented and things like that um so i try to like kind of just stay in that realm it's a little funny stuff here and there um like whatever my humor is kind of dark but um you know if people relate to it then you know i know to make more videos like that um but yeah i think that's really it was my bag that i got off of social media um i promote like i said everything that i promote off of youtube then i branched out and promoted it on my website on my instagram on my other socials just to like bring in eyes from different platforms but the main platform has always been youtube um i really appreciate youtube i really appreciate you guys for watching um make sure you like comment subscribe it's your boy chris lee tv um out deuces